best part about waking up is burger meat in your gut. You know, I wasn't really the normal kid growing up. You know, most guys were out chasing girls or going out for the sports teams. I was inside eating. You know, I just, there was something about it that I always, you know, I found solace in food. And it, it's before long that I realized that, you know, the thing about food is when you eat it, you can be someone other than yourself. You can be everything you want to be. My, uh, my home away from home, I guess you could say. A lot of good memories from, from this place. What can I want to have you? Yes, you can actually. Um, can I have five junior cheeseburgers, two crispy chicken sandwiches, and a large fry? Will that complete your order? Um, you know, also, let me get a uh, small frosty, vanilla. Will that complete your order? Oh, yeah, that's going to be everything. Okay, 10.92, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So champions are made. You know, I, I went in without the proper training, without the proper utilities, and I think this time, I think I'm gonna do it right because I have my coach with me, you know, I have a lot of faith in him. I grew up as a kid looking at, looking at Josh and his, eating, and his eating accolades, you know? He was the guy everybody was talking about. When Nick first came to me to help him with his cheeseburger, cheeseburger challenge, I told myself, I can do this for this kid, so he can have everything that I didn't have. And at that moment I knew I could live on through him. I had to give up the game a little bit early in life because of the heart problems I had. I had a, a triple bypass one day, and at 20 years old, that's you tell yourself, hey, I gotta put this down. But then when I saw Nick, I laid my eyes upon this boy, I said, hey, this kid's got talent. He can do something here. A lot of a lot of people think that competitive eating is just is just the eating and you know they don't realize the hardships the sh and the struggles and the things you have to sacrifice in it. Um, I've had to sacrifice time with my family. I've had to sacrifice time with my friends. I, I never was able to, I was never able to be a part of the school play or go out for sports. Um, I even, you know, I even lost my girlfriend because of uh, burgers. I just. It got to a point where I just, she told me I had to choose between her or the food. And I, you know, a lot of people give you the option. You gotta go for love or you gotta go for what you love. And uh, I had to pick what I love. I think that maybe one day she told me when, when I don't need burgers, she'll be there waiting for me. And in a lot of ways, I, I believe that. But also in a lot of ways, I. I just don't know if there'll be a day in my future when I won't need a burger. I went into the last cheeseburger competition totally unprepared. I thought I was ready because I could eat, I could eat basically anything that was put in front of me. And the thing with the cheeseburger competition is most people think that you're just eating a pound of meat. That, that, that's the hardship of it. But that's not true. There's so much more that goes into it. There's a psychological aspect. I mean, a lot of people ask me, why do you specifically go for cheeseburgers? And, um, you know, I don't talk about this a lot, but when I grew up, I was, I was, the year was probably 2000, I think. I think I was six years old. And my father, uh, he told my mom and I, he was going out to pick up some cheeseburgers for us for, uh, for dinner. And, uh, you know, he, he got me all dressed up in a tie and he said, I'm gonna bring these burgers back for you. It's gonna be a beautiful, fantastic dinner. I want you to stand at this door and I want you to wait for me. I want, I want to see your face. I want to greet you when I come in with the burgers. And I, was, I was so excited because my dad had never asked me to do anything before. So I stood at the door and I waited for hours, waited for hours and he just, he never came back. 
and I haven't seen him since. And you know, in a lot of ways, I think the reason why I choose burgers to be my, my main competition eating style is because if I can tackle that cheeseburger, cheeseburger challenge, eat that pound of meat, I think I'll have got those burgers my dad never gave me. I'm ready for the burger challenge. I think I'm really gonna get it this time. Um, sucks that my coach isn't gonna be able to be there with me, but he did leave me a note and he really got me motivated and like all things in life, I guess if you wanna get it done, you just gotta do it yourself. So here we go. Yes. Ready? It's seen. 